Sagittarius, so welcome into your What You Need To Know tarot reading. We're going to be asking your spirit guides to show us information that you need to know about right at this moment in time. I'm going to be getting clarifiers out for you as well as the main tarot deck as well as oracle decks as well to get a big message for you coming out here or in-depth message. So let us begin by calling in your spirit guides so that we can get the information we need to get. Spirit guides for all my Sagittarius's watching and cross watchers, uh, please come into my spirit room and guide me in this reading. Show me clearly what it is that I need to see and speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. There we go. We do have a little bit of background noise going on. You might hear some children screaming and going crazy. I don't know what's going on in my neighbor's garden, but there's a big bunch of kids there. So we're going to go through it. Okay. So first of all, let's get some energy out here with regards to the um, the Oracle decks out here and see what we need to know at this moment in time. I saw the card that flipped, so I'm going to go with it. And thank you so much, all of you guys out there who are helping me out with the other zodiac signs as well. Thank you so much. You're amazing. It's Especially when I released that new one, just to go watch it for like about five minutes or so, it'll be so amazing. Um, it helps me to then promote that video more. Okay, that's me screaming in joy. Apologies for the children making a noise. If I don't record, then I'm not going to be able to record it all um, the whole day because I've been doing it the whole day. So yeah, okay. So we've got Spider Spirit. Love it so much, obviously, because I have spider webs all over the place here. And this is Make Your Dreams Come be make your dreams real and yes we can we are actually like the weavers of life everything that we do as well every little thread that we weave okay every thread that we weave it does affect another area of our life so one of the things that i learned with regards to the spider um, the spider is my spirit animal so what it taught me was that there is nothing i do that doesn't affect another area of my life in this lifetime and in another lifetime. So even the smallest little thing that you do can affect your success in a long run. Meaning even if you decide to stay up a bit too late and you're like, okay, I'm going to stay up an extra hour and I'll be tired tomorrow, but I'm going to do it anyway. It can really affect your life in some kind of way where you think the consequences are not there, they actually are. You can actually be saying, hey, let me actually get to bed earlier and just get more sleep and you don't realize that what an effect that will have on your future it's little things that we don't think that matters that actually do matter so let's get some cards out here with regards to make your dreams come real and i feel like a lot of action and a lot of cause and effect energy coming in because that's one of the things with the spirit um guide my spirit guide being a, a spider it really also talks a lot about karma and that is cause and effect energy okay so let's have a look and see more information coming out here let's have a look and see what's going on. the top card has got my attention the way it's sticking out, I see it. I'm going to go for what that is. We've got the Six of Swords. That's very good energy. Let's see what else will come in. We have got the Four of Swords. Saggy. We have got the Five of Cups. And we've got the Nine of Cups. All of these cards are fear-based cards. <laughs> All of them. I can't believe they came out like this. We've got literally the, the, the Six of Swords, which is not fear-based, but it's a hope. I feel to me like it's a hope energy. It's almost like you're saying, I'm hoping to move my life to a better place, make that dream come true. At the same time, a lot of contemplation coming in here, a little bit afraid to make that move because you may be afraid that you're going to make a mistake or maybe you can't get something right. You're going to get clarifiers out as well. The five of cups comes in and that's why the four swords is there. Something has happened here in your life and you could even be trying to move away from this to a better way of living, a better way of being in your world. And it's also one of the reasons, because you've experienced something here that didn't work out, something that hurt you. It's one of the reasons what brings up that energy. The pain that is learned from the past creates this energy of fear of the future. That's why it hides away there. Three swords pointing up. If anybody comes near me, I'm protected, you know. So the nine of wands shows up here with the exact 
same energy it's like there i am doing my things i'm really really protecting myself but i feel like some of the things because this card will show a reason for you to be protected some of the things you do need to protect yourself from some of the things uh situations are maybe not good to go into um there are some people that you should not be trusting but not everything okay it's almost like a, i feel like this energy of like wisdom coming through almost like um the hierophant energy needing to be wise as you move forward um understanding that you have lessons that you have learned and some of them were painful some of them were not good and then knowing that it doesn't mean that now you cannot accomplish anything in life that you have to remain hidden in like hermit energy where nothing is working for you everything is not okay for you and you are literally sitting there um you know, in fear of going for your dream because you're so scared that it's not going to happen and that will hurt you too. And that's when you've got to differentiate between uh, those different kinds of situations. Like almost like you know if you're going to go to certain people and be reconnect with them, they will definitely hurt you again. Then you don't let that in. Maybe you know um, you had a previous job where things went very badly and didn't go well for you. doesn't mean you don't go look for another job. You see. So you've got to kind of like balance that energy. Let's have a look at the, the Six of Swords. You are moving towards. Very good. This is above the Six of Swords. It's a judgment card. You are moving your life to a better place. You are definitely without a doubt here. You are moving your life and you're... There is an energy of judgment coming above the Six of Swords, showing almost like that the universe or God or whatever you're going to call it, it's like in agreement with you. Yes, this time of your life, this place where you've been, it must come to an end. And I feel like they're going to ask you to have to make movement though. They're going to ask you to keep on moving or to do something about it. Let's see what aligns with the Four of Swords. Yes, they're asking you to have movement without a doubt. <laughs> Sagittarius, yes. The Knight of Cups is to, it's action. <laughs> it's such an interesting reading. It is action, okay? And this action is saying, Sagittarius, it is time to get up. There's no more hiding any longer. No more fear any longer. Remember, if judgment has shown up and energy has already shifted for you, okay? You are already being moved to where you're meant to be. But it's time that you must also take action towards what you will love towards what will make you happy you can no longer sit here and just hope that everything's going to be okay or feel like i need to protect myself even though i'm not where i want to be i really really feel like there's action that you need to be taking within the next 30 days 30 days okay so let's see what aligns with the five of cups energy death card yes this is the ending of it yes absolutely this reading got me goosebumps right now yes Yes, it is the ending of what this is. And you're really on the brink of this. I feel like you've come so far. You're so close to ending something here. Death card is what you wanted to come in. We've got Scorpio in your reading. It is what you wanted. You have asked for the change to come. But it requires you to make a movement forward. To move away from that energy. Okay? This time where you've experienced this pain in your life and where you experience things not really being the way that you want it to be it is over now so you need to move forward okay let's have a look at the nine of wands and see i'm so curious the magician you will create uh -huh, i'm gonna have to say what i just heard spirit cat saying they said you will create what you fear i was just like well should i say that no they said that to me you will create what you fear if you are not careful Meaning that you need to be careful here. The things that you are so afraid of, what keeps you hiding, what keeps you isolated, it's in your energy. And you will create what you fear if you do not release that fear. If you do not start focusing on what you want instead of being afraid in your energy. You will always create what you have or what is your main energy. Meaning if you're excited about your future. You're going to create an excited energy coming in. But if you're fearful about people around you and even your future, you're going to end up creating that fearful energy moving forward with you. And they're going, no, manifest what it is you want. They are letting you know. Um, they're, they're letting you know that this time is over. Very interesting reading. Um, I feel like you guys are on the brink of a massive change here. Um, it's been coming and building and 
coming through the whole entire year of 2023. And I feel like you're so close to this, even though there seems to be an energy of for some of you guys out there of you can you know it's there, you can feel it, you you can see it, but there's some sometimes delays or things are taking longer than what you wanted to take. Okay, so you just gotta know, you gotta keep moving towards it. Even if a delay is a month or two months or three months, what are you gonna do? Not go, stay hidden and hide in your little burrow, afraid to face life. No, you must keep moving towards the dream that you are weaving, that you are trying to create, okay? Even if it takes longer than what you think it is going to take, this is your mission on this earth, okay? So let's see what else will come up here. We've got co-create. This card also loves you a lot. Time to go. I just saw that under the deck as well. It's time to go. It is time to move. It's time to get going. It's time to create this. For a lot of you guys, I feel like January is going to be like a bit of a milestone year for you. Um, year? <laughs> a milestone month in the new year. Where I feel like there is going to be some very new directions you are going into in 2024. So interesting. With the co-create energy coming in here, working together and maybe with what you're fearing, with other people. Because sometimes you guys are a little bit afraid to work with, with others around you. Or you're a little bit afraid to let people in. I think new people are coming into your life. Remember, um, we cannot just live our life isolated. You have to let people in. You have to get out there. You have to start knowing people. You have to get to know life. I feel like you're wise already. I keep on picking up the Hierophant energy. Like you've learned. So we got the Eight of Pentacles coming in here. This could even be work-related. Okay. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Very, very nice. We got the Five of Swords. I see where you're solving problems. And the Ace of Wands. This for me is work related. The next batch of cards that we got out here, I can see now why it says co create. It's about what you're doing for a living. It talks about you, your clients, and your co workers, your boss, the people that you go with when you are at work. Okay, so you're busy at work here. These are the people that surround you. This is where you go to earn your living. Okay. If you have a business, it's your clients, it's your employees, it's something of that matter. Self-employed, it can be what you do for a living, energy. You are moving forward. I feel like you are building something here, but I don't feel like the money is coming in quick enough for you or growing as fast as you would like it to grow. Okay. Um, there seems to be a five of swords here, which could be an indication of some kind of conflict going with around you with regards to other people, meaning that there could be drama maybe happening with clients or with your boss or with co-workers. Situations, maybe not even drama, but situations that you need to solve here with regards to what you're doing for a living. Things that you need to overcome and resolve in some kind of way. I do see you are going to go through all that and you're going to solve a lot of problems. Got the beautiful Ace of Wands coming in here. Beautiful energy showing that, yes, you are moving forward here. And it looks to me like you're going to be resolving because this is lying behind it, some kind of difficulties that you are facing. And it's almost like a new beginning for you here. Let's get some clarifiers out for you and go deeper into these four cards that we have here on the table. Definitely work-related. That's how I feel. It's definitely a feeling of work-related, um, a feeling of you being surrounded by other people. Whatever you do to earn a living, it's got to do with that. Okay, so let's have a look and see. With the Eight of Pentacles, we've got the High Priestesses. You're going to have to trust your intuition here. With regards to something that you're doing for a living, you're going to have to trust your inner intuition. And you're also going to have to kind of have this energy of, I'm right here now and we may be dealing with some issues. But I almost feel like Spirit Guide saying, look further ahead. Look much far, much, much further than where you are now. Because there's still events taking place a little bit in the future that is going to turn out kind of like in your favor here. And at this moment, whatever kind of difficulties you are dealing with, you need to trust your intuition with regards to how to handle it. So when you feel like, I think we need to do this, then I think you need to do that. Okay. There's also a lot of energy that you don't yet see. Um, I think you're going to be fine with regards to work as well. I you know the, the high priestess, she doesn't have a roof over her head. She's basically got these, the black pillar and the white pillar and there's the stars above her. And she doesn't have a roof over her head, okay? She's living there and she trusts nature. She trusts that everything is always unfolding for her the way it's meant to be. She trusts the unknown energy. And I feel like you need to be in that energy as well. Trusting that there's more unfolding. You haven't yet seen it, okay? 
what else is coming in here money is going to balance out for you i feel like money is an issue here in this reading quite a lot especially because of what i'm picking up on here i just got this feeling like you're trying to create something and you're moving too slowly it comes back again this feeling like you feel like it's not going quick enough to balance what it is that you need to do financially and it's obviously coming from your work or it's coming from um maybe even a home environment where things are not yet balanced but i feel like you are moving towards the stability and spirit guide is telling you please just be patient because the two of pentacles would usually mean depending on how it comes out would usually mean keep on balancing keep on making the miracles that you are making there is something that's going to be revealed to you here you are working very very hard there with the eight of pentacles to like fix your life in some kind of way congratulations let's have a look at the five of swords Yes, it will be all right. <laughs> Whatever you're dealing with here, beautiful to come out. The Empress to come out with the Five of Swords. Beautiful energy. I'm so happy. Whatever this is, which can be even worries about money. It can be co-worker situations. It can be um, difficulties that you're facing in your career or even in your business. You will be fine. <laughs> you are going to be fine. The Empress overrides that like no one's business like she's too, too powerful so you're going to be feeling contented you're going to be feeling like you belong somewhere you're going to be feeling at a home you're going to be feeling at peace because that's what the empress always feels she always feels like she's calm she's at home she's where she's meant to be and everything is in alignment for her or she wouldn't be the empress this is coming about the five of swords beautiful you will solve those problems let's have a look and see with the ace of wands the Two of Swords rocking up with the Ace of Wands. Two of Swords energy talks about what you don't see coming and fear. It's interesting that it comes above, again, the Ace of Wands. And I kind of picked it up here as well. Like you're a little bit afraid to kind of move forward um, and change things because you don't know how something is going to unfold. And it shows up here as something actually changing for you. There is a change coming in with the Ace of Wands. And I think this change even brings about a little bit of more fear out of you. You know, it's almost like you're going, okay, fine. So I've solved many problems and now my business is running and I have to move forward. I'm still a bit afraid. I'm still a little bit afraid about where I'm going because it's more about what you don't see coming. So let's have a look and see. I think it's normal, you know, for us to be afraid about what we don't see. It's normal for us to go wow, I don't know what's going to happen in the next year or two. So there is a bit of fear attached to that. Remember with the Magician card, you will create whatever you feel. So always remember that. Always remember you will create whatever you feel. With a High Priestess, it's almost like a, an energy of having faith, you know, that you will be moving to where you're meant to be. You know what I mean? So let's have a look and see. It's so noisy around me today. It's like it's a Sunday. It's so noisy like this. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get into this and have a look. Angel answers. Let's have a look and see what's going on here. All right. Don't stop. Oh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Don't stop. Don't stop, Saggy. Don't stop. Keep going. Please keep going. Don't stop. You're going to deal with all these problems. You're going to keep on moving forward. You're going to face fear. Even though you're, you're afraid and you're like, I don't know, I'm so scared to move forward. I'm so scared to change something. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Don't stop. Oh, Sagittarius, I'm going to hug you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't stop. Keep going. Let's reshuffle this energy for the don't stop. I'm so curious to see. Don't stop, spirit guides, letting you know. The angels are letting you know. Please don't stop, Sagittarius. Keep going. And I feel like you're so close. I really feel like 2024, you're moving into a new way of being. A, sh a shifting is taking place for you here. Beautiful energy. Let's have a look and see. The magician rocked up again. Don't stop. Keep manifesting. Keep focusing your energy. Keep your mind clear. Keep on focusing on what it is you need to be thinking about and not what you shouldn't be thinking about, okay? Keep on reprogramming your mind to look in the right direction. It will begin to listen to you. For a lot of you out there, it's already working. You're already getting it right. Every time your mind goes, oh no, bad things are coming, you go, no, no, stop. Stop. <laughs> bad things are not coming. Good things are coming. Blessings are coming. Miracles are coming. And it becomes your mantra every single day. You wake up and you're like, blessings are coming. I, blessings are here. I have miracles taking place in my life. 
my life is unfolding exactly the way it's meant to be that is going to be when you you're getting this energy right this is beautiful don't stop you're getting it right saggy judgment has shown up twice this is such a powerful reading on this both these sides so on both the last cards top cards on this side you've literally got two judgment cards but in the judgment card this is you okay changing something major look how it is the judgment card comes in it kind of reminds you of they're, they're letting you know that like scales will be balanced in your life which is good because you do have a pure pinnacles which shows a lack of balance you got this rebirth energy in this deck which shows like you're shedding your old life here the old skin and you are being reborn moving forward even raising your energy up here so let's go and have a look and see let's have a look and see we got a new beginning oh your reading is so unbelievable you got a four of wands Oh, Sagittarius, that is the 1111 card. If you are seeing those kinds of things a lot, you keep on noticing. I had this before a major change in my life. I remember for two years, it was two years, I won't lie. I saw 1111 everywhere. Every, it was insane. I, we ended up, I ended up used to like message my children and be like, can you believe this? And sometimes they would message me and I would message them and it would be like 1111. It would be insane. Repeat, I would like buy like maybe some so a block of cheats you know and have it weighed or whatever and they would come back and say is 11 11 11 fine and i would just be like okay it's fine <laughs> and let me tell you that's what happened to me before a major life change and if you're seeing those numbers with this four of wands energy you are going to see this come in for you that is judgment calling you a death card calling you meaning change is coming but it's not bad change it is moving you into a place of celebration and joy. The four of ones can also mean all your, your, your environment, how you live on an everyday basis. You know, what kind of furniture you have, the kind of environment you live in. I need to live in a place where I'm, I'm far from other people so I can do my recordings. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that kind of energy shows that you're going to be changing that everyday experience like that, where you can literally... Um, uh maybe change where you live you can change the kind of house what it looks like inside of your house you can change what you do every day when you wake up when you go to work it's all changed four of wands new beginning interesting energy what else comes up for you here the high row finch what did i tell you i mentioned so the readings are crazy you guys sagittarius you're connected so much and you you do realize it don't you you do realize you're so connected to spirit. You're so connected to this ethereal energy that creates reality. You're so connected there. You can move this world. I'm telling you now. Hierophant has come in. I, spirit guide has been mentioning this from the beginning of this reading. When I first saw this, your dreams go real. I'm seeing all these energies. I'm like, I feel like you're going to forget the Hierophant. Yes, the Hierophant. Meaning, yes, you have gained the wisdom. You have gained the understanding. You're changed. You're leveled up in some kind of way. And you it's and the magician card has shown up here twice in your reading. The judgment card has shown up twice in your reading. And now the card that I've been talking about from the beginning of this reading has shown up in your reading with this energy. Let's get the confirmation cards out. Do not stop, Sagittarius. Uh, do not stop, please. What a bunch of amazing energies that I always pick up on when I come into this reading. I feel like you guys are going to be completely living in another way of life. <laughs> and you're going to be the success stories, especially of this channel. You know, when people come in here and comment and say, things are bad for me, you must encourage them. Please encourage them and be like, no, things can change for you. Look how good it's been for me. When you see, I do see people coming in and saying there's bad things happening in their world in the comments. And so many of you will go and answer that person and give your support. It's amazing. Tell your story. Show them that it can be done. Okay. So let's go. The two of wands, fork road, with a magician card. What you are manifesting is coming before you. Oh, Saji. Oh, my goosebumps situation. <laughs> I've just got goosebumps. What you are manifesting is coming before you. And you're going to change your direction in your life here. The fork road. You are on it. You're about to hit it. Because you are manifesting it. What you are manifesting is being revealed to you here. Okay. The judgment card. You've been waiting so long. I'm going to show you as I saw it. 
So I did see it in the reverse position for me. Interesting. I, I thought I shuffled all the cards. It's in the reverse position. Something that you have been waiting for for so long. Waiting for the shift for so long in your life. It has now arrived. It is here. The wait is over. Sagittarius. I feel like clapping for you. I'm so happy. Let's see the four of wands. The four of wands is a new cycle. Okay. And it means this is where you're going. You've got a new beginning. And it aligns with the nine of pentacles. No wonder you're celebrating. There's financial stability there. There's a lot of financial stability there. You are living very, very comfortable. And it was interesting when I was explaining the four of wands. I was kind of like saying maybe your home environment will change. And it's almost like you're going to be living in a more, um, another level of life. Your comfortability level you know, maybe you had that bed that was a little bit bumpy on the one side and now you've got the bed that is, makes you go fall into it and you're like, I'm sleeping on a cloud. You know what I mean? Maybe you've got that car that's a little bit like, nah, 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 and now you've got the car that's like, Shh, you know what I mean? That is the shift that you're looking at there. Definitely changes in how you are living in some kind of way. The ability for you to be able to really take care of what needs to be taken care of. Is it not worth it to fight for this? You will fight for this and you will carry on, not really fight for it. You will just keep on focusing on manifesting it. Because if you're saying, I'm fighting for my happiness, you'll be fighting for the rest of your life. You've got to say, I'm, I'm moving into my happiness because that's where I'm going. That's what I'm doing. This is, I'm manifesting everything I want, always. You've got to change how we speak because words are spells in action. That's why we call them spanning. Okay. And as you move forward into your life here, yeah, more changes to come. Sagittarius, it is only just the beginning. Your reading is giving me so much goosebumps. It is only just the beginning. As you are moving forward, I feel like this, the years to come, you're going to be changing so much. And I feel like you're going to learn something here. If you're still going to be having new ideas with the Seven of Cups, and this comes up above the Hierophant, which is Taurus, right? It's like... This understanding and the wisdom that you have gained to get yourself out of a situation and accomplish something, it has taught you how to be the magician. It has taught you. And once you understand what that feels like, to feel something here, and then it happens. It happened because you felt it. And you felt it, and you felt it in such a way that it's reality. And if you can get that feeling put inside of you, nothing will ever, ever take that away. Nothing can take that away. It is impossible. And this is exactly where you're going. You're going to be moving forward, understanding, oh, I've accomplished A, B, and C. What about D, E, and F? Why not? And you are going to move forward, and you are going to change things, and you are going to do things differently. And I think you will continue to do this throughout your entire life. It'll, there'll be difficult times in doing it, but you're also going to understand nothing that, I, that faces me. No difficulty that stands in front of me will ever stop me because I know I can overcome, overcome it. That's what I know. When we are faced with something very hard, it is meant for you to overcome it. It's like a mountain in front of you. If that mountain shows up in front of you, you are meant to climb that mountain. And what happens when you climb that mountain that's blocking your path? You've become leveled up. And that is where you're going. And you're going to level up many times still in your lifetime. Your reading, as always, Sagittarius, is absolutely mind-blowing. I love it so much. Um, don't stop. Work on what you want to do and make your dreams come real. This, this reading is so, so perfect. There we go, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in the daily reading. Thank you so much for being there and supporting the daily reading as well. And otherwise, I will see you in your next long form reading. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.